content warning, this is a horror game that is not intended for all audiences. You won't be able to save everyone. You might not even be able to save yourself. Welcome home. <sighs> you jolt awake as the bus hits a particularly nasty bump. You feel like you'd only just managed to start drifting off and now here you are, awake again and still exhausted. For a moment, you're hazy on the details of where exactly here is, confusing this bus with the many others that came before it. But as your mind continues to reassert its existence in the waking world, the past few days come back into focus. The long lost cousin, the bad news, the 26 hours of bus rides, oh dang, I couldn't do that, <laughs> with countless late night stops and seedy dep depots that would have felt unsafe even in the middle of the day. You would normally find yourself traveling like this, but your cousin bought the tickets. The funeral of Pearl and Scarlet, your cousin's mother and your aunt, seemed like something you shouldn't ignore, even considering your own late mother's rocky relationship with this side of the family. Aw, that's sad. Fortunately, the end of your long journey is in sight. You're almost in Scarlet Hollow. So anyway, as I was saying, um, do you not read the room? <laughs> We're literally sleeping. Oh no, he's still here. He's been sitting next to you for the past five hours, talking to you without pause. You're not sure he even stopped when he started to doze off. At first, you thought he was just being friendly, but that was several hours of one side of conversations ago. Ah, uh, you gotta let it go, bro. I was up in Maryland looking for work, but mostly messing around because I was dumb, a teen. <laughs> Me and my buddies were doing our usual prank stuff. You know, pushing joggers into the harbor, that sort of thing. Yeah, that's, that's normal, right? I guess. Wait, what? Dude, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Hell yeah, sounds awesome. I feel like, I don't know if you guys seen the, um, is it, not Happy Gilmore, it's the Big Daddy, I think, with Adam Sandler, when they're putting, like, the stick for the roller skaters to, like, trip over, that's what it reminds me of, but I wouldn't do that, personally, I would not, so I'm gonna say, dude, what's wrong with you, <laughs> pushing joggers into the harbor, that's awful, what if they drowned, <laughs> yeah, such a shithead back then, just a little bit of a shithead, but hey, I think it's a nobody's perfect, po bodies. I think it's nobody's perfect. <laughs> so the girl comes up to swinging her purse, yelling about how she's gonna call the cops or whatever. It was hilarious. She actually hit my friend and he said it hurt a lot. So I guess she really was mad. And so was I. <laughs> or so would I. And not just playing. But she kept swinging and soon enough she lost her balance and fell into the harbor all on her own. We didn't have to push her. That's pretty messed up. <laughs> We had a good laugh, finished, uh, fished her out, and her phone got soaked so she couldn't call the cops on us. We wound up hanging out all day. She kind of became my girlfriend after that. We've been on and off for about a year, so it's pretty serious. <laughs> I bet it is. <laughs> Though about five months ago, she tried to break up with me, like, for real. And geez, do you ever just get so mad you want to kill, like, kill somebody? No. No, this is very, very hostile. I kind of feel like killing someone right now. No, 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 no. I never feel that way, no. I never want to kill anyone. Eh, you're young. <laughs> You'll get it when someone tries to break your heart someday. It changes a person. That's very, very not okay. Makes them think things they never thought they could. I also could have killed that woman. Ah. Please let me off at the next stop. Thank you very much. Anyway, she's giving birth to her son right now, so I'm trying to get up to Virginia to be there for it. Um, I don't know if she wants you there. I don't know if I'm like into that stuff, so I might just wind up on a bus to New York or something instead. I've always wanted to go there. I think if your first inclination is not to go meet your kid, and you're having a very DV situation with your ex-girlfriend, maybe, maybe you shouldn't go. Maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> Have you thought of seeing a therapist? Book smart. Great question. Maybe it would help if you talk with someone about these feelings, someone professional. I'm not licensed or anything, but it seems like you might have a personality disorder. It might be worth looking into. I like how I'm giving, pers uh, I'm really diagnosing people with something in the, what's it called? The DSM-5, right? Nah, I don't need to do that kind of stuff. Okay. Both strangers are the best therapists. I feel a lot better after talking to you. I'm glad I could help, I guess. Anyways, where'd you say you were headed? I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. No need to be nasty. I was just asking. Not like I'm gonna follow you off the bus or anything. Ha! Huh? Okay.
okay, I'm not, I'm not trusting him at all. At all. <laughs> so if you aren't getting off at my stop, then you must be headed to Scarlet Hollow, right? Or the Holler, as they call it in these parts. That's the only way to stop until this bus turns around. I ride it pretty often, so I know. Almost nobody ever goes up that way. Though, come to think of it. I had a couple buddies who went up there to work in the mine. There's a coal mine up there in the Holler. You see, and there's always a job listing or two on the boards around here. I've never wanted to do that kind of thing myself. I like my lungs the way they are. <laughs> Thanks, but my buddies got desperate enough to try it. I haven't heard from them in a while now that I think about it. I should see if they're on Facebook. See how they're doing up there. Why not? Hope they didn't die, huh? You have very dark humor, sir. He looks back at his phone for once focus on something other than you. Great. Oh, this is me. It was lovely meeting you. Hope you don't get too bored without me around to talk to. I think I can live without it. Here, I have something for you. What? The stranger rifles through his pack before presenting you with a dripping bag of peanuts. No thanks. <laughs> They're boiled peanuts. I got them at a gas station a few buses back. Ugh. I noticed you haven't eaten much, so I figured you could use them more than me. Nice, but I am okay. Thank you. Plus, they drip all over my back, so I don't want to carry them anymore. <laughs> Tip, sometimes picking a dialogue option establishes new facts about who you are. Oh, cool. Uh, nice, I love boiled peanuts. Take the peanuts. Uh, no thanks. Screw you and screw your peanuts. I'm actually allergic to peanuts. Eat the peanuts. Um, if we say no thanks, do you think it's gonna like, push it on us? We could say we're allergic. I don't want those peanuts. I'm actually allergic to peanuts. Oh, huh, this could probably kill you then, couldn't they? Yes. Well, like I said, I'm done carrying them. They're yours. Dude! <laughs> The young man sets the peanuts down the empty seat next to him. The juices dribble out through the bottom of the bag and into the upholstery, instantly soaking in a peanut brine. Ugh. And with that, I leave you. Safe travels, friend. See ya. <sighs> That's so gross. Why would you do that? Someone's gonna have to sit there at some point. Or clean it, too. And just like that, you're alone. The stranger's peanuts soaking into the seat across from you. You do your best to hold your breath as the bus rattles to your destination. Next up, Scarlet Hollow, end of the line. Almost there. We've arrived! <laughs> the bus finally comes to a stop, its brakes squealing as it deposits it. It deposits you in front of the Scarlet Hollow bus station. The sign at least reads bus station, but calling it th calling it that feels disingenuous. At best, it's a kiosk. I can see that. <laughs> Though for a small town like this, you're amazed there's so much as a road, let alone a bus that drives on it every week. Yeah, it literally arrives Monday and departs Monday, literally one minute later. The bus the driver quickly shuts the doors behind you and starts the engine, kicking up dust clouds as he pulls away, eager to leave you in this place behind. They're not kidding, you're one minute late. <laughs> or is it two minutes late, you missed the bus. Hi! Hey, Londi. Hi. You instantly recognize the worn young woman from the few pu public photos on her Facebook page. She's your cousin, Tabitha. Hi, Tabitha. And she looks annoyed to be here. Uh, how long have you been waiting for me, Tapatha? Uh, looks like someone- <laughs> somebody needs a hug. No, thank you. I'm not a huggy person. Please don't touch me. <laughs> hey, Tapatha, give me- give her your condolences. Remain silent. Uh, let's just be friendly. Hey, Tapatha. Come on, let's get back to the estate. I don't want to spend any more time down here than I have to. Sure. Let's go. Cousin turns and motions to an old BMW parked near the bus kiosk. You follow her, clambering into the dusty relic. Let's go! Hi! Again. <laughs> she seems very upset. It didn't take much driving for the only signs of civilization are the car you're in and the road you're on. Tabitha maintains an icy silence as she focuses on the road. Was it some music or something? Tip dialogue options labeled explore can usually be taken without advancing the story. They can impact relationships and unlock additional story paths, so choose carefully. Uh, how are you holding up? I guess we're both mom de members of the Dead Moms Club now. Who would say that? So, the funeral. I can't believe we've never actually met before this. Um, how are you holding up? That seems nice. Fine. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. Uh, book smart. You don't have to bottle your grief like that. Oh, that's nice. I think so. You know you can talk to her. I lost my mom, too. We don't know her yet. I don't feel like she would open up to us quite yet. Okay, but if that ever changes, here for you, all right? Phew, good to hear. No, 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 no. Let's be nice. You don't have to bottle your grief like that. 
I'm not bottling anything. I'm much. I'm just more emotionally mature than you. Uh, okay, I guess. Um, let's try this. I don't know why we. I can't believe we've never actually met before this. You have your mom to thank for that, or had, I guess. Um, that was unnecessary. Is there bad blood? I wish I'd known about you. Haha, <laughs> yeah, the mom's blood. Just brush it off. <laughs> um, let's go. Is there bad blood? Let's see what, what else is there. I'm sorry, but is there bad blood between us? All I know is my mom left and she was mad at the side of the family. I don't know much besides that. Ooh, drama. Her cousin stares straight ahead, her expression icy. Oh, she must be upset. Um... It keeps giving me a dead mom's club. I don't want to click on it. Uh, let's know about the funeral. It's on Sunday, right? Yep, like I like I told you. Jeez, that's almost a whole week. <laughs> Need any help planning? Have you worked out all the details yet? Um, let's go with that one. Maybe we can help her. Hmm, taken care of. Don't need any help. All right. Um, do we say it? I feel like she would understand like the the dark humor she would get it right right <laughs> i guess we're both members of dead mom's club huh <laughs> your cousin turns to stare at you an icy hatred in her eyes not the right decision maybe this would have worked to ease the tension if she were someone else but she isn't i'm sorry <laughs> she turns back to the road her expression cold and unforgiving okay well i would remain silent right we're done <laughs> Decided to sit in silence with her cousin as the car eases up the steep mountain road. I'm sorry, Tabitha. Ooh, here it is, the Scarlet Estate. Though it's seen better days, its crumbling elegance is not lost on you. Someone used to, used to cramp apartments in gray cities. Your mother told you about this place many times before she passed, always with an anger burning beneath her words. I wonder what happened. A faded majesty, a uh, ma majesty? Ma Majesty. Is that right, Majesty? You once imagined doesn't quite compare with what's in front of you. A jarring blend of opulence and ruin. As you stare at it, perched on the crumbling cliffside, you can't help but feel like it's something that should have been left to rot a long, long time ago. Well, if it's like a family, like family house, I understand why you would keep it. Hmm. Definitely has seen better days. <laughs> You're hit with a blast of dusty air as you step across the threshold into the foyer. Everything in this room has been here for much longer than you've been alive. Each object cemented in place with layers of dust and cobwebs. You can hear doors creak on their hinges and the aches and moans of ancient floorboards as the house itself sways in the wind. That was perfect timing. <laughs> I will not stay here. No, thank you. Oh, hi. Welcome to our family's humble estate. It looks great. Sure. <laughs> Unfortunately, due to the current state of the house, only a few rooms will be safely accessible during your stay. That's fine with me. I wouldn't go wandering anywhere else if you find your if you value your limbs. The floors have been known to give out. Sure, just tell me where to be, where not to be. If you know what's good for you, you'll stick to your room, your bathroom, and the kitchen. And hallways, I guess. Okay, I guess. <laughs> that's that's the basics. <laughs> it's only the hallways you need to use to get to those places. Okay. I'll trust you, Tabitha. Why not? I'll show you around so you know where it's safe to walk. You can leave your bags here for the time being. Perfect. Uh, the architecture reminds me of the B Biltmore Estate. Cool, thanks. You live here. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> this place is falling apart. I thought y'all were loaded. Can you afford to fix this stump? <gasps> wow. She already hated us with a dead mom's club comment. No thank you on that one. Um, do you think she would find this like pretentious? Why not? Maybe maybe she values history. The architecture here is breathtaking. Chateau, Chateau West style, reminiscent of the Biltmore estate. Color of me marginally impressed. I didn't have you pegged as cultured. Okay, great. Great, great, great. Yes, we are very cultured. Very posh. <laughs> Believe it or not, this estate actually predates a bit Biltmore by nearly three decades. It used to be the crown jewel of the region, but times changed and the tensions of masses are ever so fickle. Interesting. Shall we begin the tour? Yes, please proceed, Tabitha. Please proceed. <laughs> follow me. You put your bags down, follow Tabitha through a long, dusty hallway. She delicately steps over holes and tears on the floor, and you do your best to trace her steps. Kitchen! It's alright. It's not, it's not terrible. 
On Wednesday, the woman from town comes in and does the cleaning. Her name is Janie. Sounds good. I would recommend socializing with her. She'll talk your ear off. If you need any food, there's fixing the peanut butter and jelly. I don't eat peanut butter and jelly. Oh, hi, it's a cat. I didn't know it was a cat. Hi. Don't touch my mac and cheese or my ice cream. Those are off limits. Okay, no worries. I don't need your mac and cheese and ice cream. Oh, and you can also access the garden through there. Oh, through here, but it's pretty wild, so I wouldn't if I were you. Uh, tips, some explorer app prevents you from taking others. Choose carefully. Ooh. Someone cleans this place? Oh, we can't be mean. We've already been mean once. You said something, ac someone actually cleans this place. Have you ever actually seen that happen? <laughs> or does this person just say they did it and leave? Can you imagine? She just walks in, done for the day. <laughs> and just walks out, sends her invoice. This is so nice. It's nice. It's perfect. I'm actually allergic to peanuts. <laughs> just bring it back. Is there anywhere in town to buy food? But she didn't even offer us peanuts, so I don't think she would really care. Uh, what if I want ice cream? All right, what's next? Uh, where should we buy food? I might want to eat something other than PB&J this week. Is there somewhere in town we can get groceries? Well, aren't you fancy? <laughs> Well, there's a general store. There's also a diner. I usually order my food in bulk online, though, so I wouldn't be going with you. Online? How do you know if it's good? Like, how do you buy online bacon? General store? How very folksy. <laughs> but I'm your guest! Oh, I didn't actually budget for groceries this week. We're not going to ask her for money. Aren't you supposed to take care of me? I am, hence the PB&J fixings. <laughs> we have enough PB&J to get through the week. It should get you through the week. Um, I don't want to talk about this, like, insult her house. Um, so this is so nice. It's so much bigger than what I'm used to in the city. Is that a kitchen island? <laughs> it is, thank you. You know what? Our, our girl is very much into AGTV. We love a good island. <laughs> All right, what's next? What's next on the tour? Bathroom, follow me. But what about the kitty? Great, it's been hours since I've gone. The two of you leave the kitchen. You pass by a tuxedo cat sitting on the countertop. <gasps> we can talk to it. Approach the cat. Don't try to pet Fru-Fru. If she wants to be pet, she'll let you know. Hi! Mimic parle pas. I think that's don't talk to me. <laughs> we know French! Uh, vous parlez français. <laughs> your French is terrible. Disgusting. How dare you defile my language with your clumsy American tongue. I I'm sorry. I don't think it was that bad. Ah, very funny. Your name sounds French. Stop wasting my time. Let's finish the tour. Fru Fru. <laughs> you once again fall atop of the through a long, dusty hallway. Maybe after a few nights, it'll get easier to navigate these spaces. But for the time being, you feel lucky to have not fallen through the doors. So would I. Guest bathroom, not much to show. It's a bathroom. I'll wait outside. Do what you must if you must. Thanks. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Refuse. It's a wretched bathroom. Piles of junk and the lights are flickering. No, thank you. Uh, piles of junk sit untouched in the corners of the room and mystery stains paint the floor. Who exactly uses this bathroom? Are you sure the to this toilet works? It's the worst bathroom I've seen. What a nice bathroom. <laughs> um, I would not use this. I really would not. But if we've been on the... There's only a wine glass, hair dye... <laughs> Toilet paper on the floor and a fly that I can easily hear. Um, but it's been like a few hours. Would we use it? I, no. I, I, I don't want to use it. But we've got to go. So, are you sure it works? Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Why wouldn't it? The water bills get paid. Therefore, the toilet works. Now, do your business so we can move on. But it's so crusty. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You sign resignation. Okay. That's the spirit. Who exactly uses this bathroom? Guests. How often do you have guests? Uh, where's bathroom? You can practically hear Tabitha roll her eyes at you from the other side of the bathroom wall. Someone's got to say it, Tabitha. It's been a lot nicer if Jane didn't have a policy about bathrooms. She cleans mine, but she refuses to do more than that, so you can blame her for the state of this place. Why... Why would she only do one bathroom? Can I use your bathroom, please? She would say no. 
No. Now hurry up and do your business so we can move on with our lives. Mm. All right. Oh. Scram, fellas. The jig is up. Bugs, get it from the bowls. You lift the seat. Oh. All right. We've gone this far. Toilet is a toilet. Sure, it could be cleaner, but your business needs doing, and this is a good as place as any. You can do you do what you must and rejoin your cousin out in the hall. The jig is up. <laughs> Next up, guest bedroom. Last stop on the tour. Follow me. You and Tabitha briefly return to the foyer before climbing the stairs and reaching the guest room. Ooh, this place is nice. Old-fashioned writing desk. The room smells old. Dust, mildew, wood rot, it has it all. A week of sleeping in this place might give you a permanent lung damage. Ah, uh, well, I guess it's not as good as I thought it would be. Uh, this is where you'll be staying. The linens are fresh. I had Johnny wash them last week. Couldn't it be like this week? I had to endure a half hour run by her kid to get her to do it. So you better be grateful. <laughs> Closet's full of old family stuff, so you can't hang your clothes up, but you can use a dresser. It should be empty. Okay. Um, this room is amazing. What a dump. It seems a little dusty. This room is nice. Thank you. Who used to sleep here? Well, let's ask that. Is it just guests? When? This house is almost 150 years old. Many, many people have slept here. And now you'll sleep here. Carry on the fine tradition of bedrooms being slept in. <laughs> Okay, I just want to know, like, is it, like, an aunt, uh, like, an old, old aunt or something? This was her bedroom, maybe it's hers, like, I just want to know. Um, it's, it's just, it's just lie, it's be nice. This room is nice. Thank you. Good, we should be honored seeing a historic landmark such as this. I am, I really am. The bathroom could be a little nicer, though. Every piece of furniture in this house is a genuine art antique, handed down through the family for generations. Ah, interesting. This is not an Ikea bedroom, whatever such nonsense you're used to in the city. Okay, it's fine. I, I think it has a lot of charm to it, to be honest with you. I guess I'll start to get settled. Follow me, I'll take you back to the foyer so you can lunch your belongings. Perfect. How do we get back? <laughs> this concludes our tour. I'm afraid I must return to my duties, so you'll have to entertain yourself for the rest of the day. Don't expect to see much of me. Uh, tips, some dialogue options will open additional conversation paths. Some right away and others down the line. Ooh. Um, is there a library? I guess since we're book smart, we want to go to the library. Where are you going? What am I supposed to do while you're gone? Are you sure you can't take the day off? Why would I ask her to do that? Obviously, she has things to do. Did I do something wrong? Why are you being such a jerk? <laughs> Definitely not. Are you sure you're okay? I won't keep you, but you should hang out when you get back. Uh, let's ask about the library. Let's be very book smart. Is there a library in the estate? I couldn't bring too many books with me. I'm not sure what else I should do with my time. There is, but I said earlier, most of this building is off limits. Why is the library off limits? Is it just the floorboards? The library is in the West Frame, which is extremely off limits. You're better off heading into town. I'm pretty sure there's a library there. Okay. Uh, where are you going? To work, somebody has to pay the bills around here. Fair, I'm only here for a week. Uh, what kind of work do you do? I run the coal mine, same as every scarlet who came before me. Ah, cool, we're, we're miners, coal miners. Except for you and your mom, it requires a lot of time and concentration. So I appreciate it if you didn't keep me for long. No, I understand. Uh, I didn't know we owned a coal mine. We don't own the coal mine. I own the coal mine. Your side of the family forfeited any claim to it years ago. Is this because my mom left? Is that why? Uh, <laughs> good for you. <laughs> uh, can I come watch? See what you do? What? No, the mine is dangerous. I can't babysit you and do my job. Um, good for you. Sounds boring. That's kind of sad. Ew, gross. Hashtag girl boss. Let's do it. Dang, I can't believe you're only in your 20s and already running a coal mine. Talk about hashtag girl boss. <laughs> it's a little bit of flattery, just, just a little. Look! Uh, <laughs> don't patronize me. I know you have nothing to, nothing to your name, Londy. Uh, you don't know me. Any other inane questions before I leave? Uh, can you take me into town? What am I supposed to do while you're gone? Are you sure you can't take the day off? Did I do something wrong? Um, do we want her to take us in town? Do we want that? Do you think you can take me into town before you leave? 
Now it's just down the hill. You can walk by yourself. Okay. I'm not going to bother her with what to do. We can figure it out. Um, did I do something wrong? Let's try that. You asked me to come to this funeral, but since the moment I got here, you've been acting like I spat in your coffee. Ooh, it's a little salty. What's going on? What Was it something I said? Look, I'm sorry I've been testing since you've gotten here, but you aren't exactly one to talk. You've been a horrible guest. I used your dirty bathroom. Maybe we can start fresh tonight. Okay, that's fair. We'll, we'll just wipe the slate. That's fine. Just stay out of my hair until then, okay? I have work to do. That's fine. Um, I won't keep you. We should hang out before when you get back. Let's do something. Like, watch a movie. I don't know what we do here. We'll see. There's a lot that needs to get done this week. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Your cousin leaves to the front door. And now it's just you. You and the sprawling, decrepit estate. Uh, jelly sandwich sounds great right now. Settle into your room. Go straight to the forbidden wings of the estate. Uh, she's already upset with me. Let's, let's not do that. Let's settle into my room. Let's go do that. Now that your cousin's gone, the aches and pains of your journey sink into your bones. You stumble back to the stairs to your room. Suitcase in tow, eager to unwind before you face the rest of the day. You stand at the entrance to your room. Uh, take a nap. Put your spare clothes in the dresser. Check the closet. Closet. <laughs> oh, doll. I don't, I don't like dolls. You can see why your cousin said you should put your clothes in the dresser instead of this closet. There must be decades of counting history stacked up in here. Nope. Not touching the dolls. Mm-mm. Not doing it. Some things are the best left untouched. You close the closet behind you. Uh, let's put our clothes away. Oh! Is that a possum? You drag your suitcase over to the dresser and open the bottom drawer. A possum lurks within. It is quiet but angry. Afraid. Oh, so sweet. Oh, I'm so sorry. I friends. I know her. <laughs> um... Oh, what's your name, little guy? What are you doing in my drawers? Can you move, please? I just want to put my clothes in here. Uh, can you tell me about the human who lives here? Uh, try to put shoe him out of the drawer. Put clothes on top of the pasta. No, he's scared. Um, that's, it's not the best way to say it, but I'm a friend. Don't worry about it. I won't hurt you. Afraid. <laughs> um, can we just close the drawer? Can we do that? Just, yeah, just close it. You stay. I don't need it. <laughs> you close the drawer, leave the marsupial in peace. This drawer belongs to a possum, and there's nothing you can do about it. I agree. I'll do the top two. Dustin not get eaten. Dustin, strong warrior. Oh, <laughs> I think that's who he is. Wait. Oh, I was, I was like, wait. Isn't that the same thing? The same one he was in? But no, the top one. You open the top drawer next. It's empty. It's a good place as you'll find to put your clothes. Hopefully he doesn't, like, be able to climb there and, like, eat my clothes. Based on the state of the house, you wonder if you've been better off keeping your clothes in your nice, clean back. There's no going back now. That's only what I just thought. Like, what if it comes and eats my clothes? Um, let's look out the window. What's this? You can only imagine how beautiful the garden must have been in its heyday. If you owned this place, you'd totally get out there with a shovel and some gardening gloves and whip it into shape. <laughs> You go out and pull weeds, chop trees, carve capparies, and do whatever you needed to do to return it to its former glory. And once it was all done, you sit by the fountain, which of course would have a little goldfish in it, <laughs> and drink a floral tea while enjoying the bird song. Yeah, you definitely do that. Just not right now. It seems like a lot. If it's only just Tabitha, and then you have one maid that comes once a week, it's a lot of work. Uh, examine the painting. This must be an older relative of yours, judging by the date on the inscription. You've never heard of her, but you've barely heard anything about your aunt and cousin until a week, a week ago. So that's not really a surprise. Maybe you could ask Tabitha, Tabitha about this Mary Bell Scarlet the next time you see her. That is, if she actually is in the mood for conversation. <laughs> that's fair. Guess that's enough. Uh, I'm not taking a nap. No, thank you. It doesn't seem like there's much else for you to do here right now. I think, actually, we're going to stop right here before we make another choice and... I guess I'll, I'll debate whether or not if I want to enter the Forbidden Wing or not. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you liked that episode, go ahead and leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.